Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I don't know if you remember Colton, but Colton shared some dreams with me in the past. And he shared two with me now. I'm going to share one of them. It's really, uh, um, yeah, check this out. The dream starts very strange. I'm in a city, and I see people looking up into the sky. They were frozen with fear of what they were looking at. So I looked up. I see UFOs all over the sky. As I'm starting to panic, there is a flash in my mind, and I'm being shown that these UFOs are fake. And they are being used to trick people. Then the dream takes me into a school building. As I walk through the doors, I notice the school is set up more like a medical facility. It had guards with guns. Mm. Then around the corner, mm, mm, mm. around the corner walks four or five aliens that looked like they were dressed in some type of military clothes. They were short, 9'5", 4", and they were shorter than I. In the dream, they startled me, but I knew they were not aliens, but they were demonic. Hmm. I then walked into one of the classrooms. There I saw many people standing and sitting that were held in the rooms by guards. They were being forced to watch a television. So I began to watch that television to see what it was they were watching. The program was explaining to them the new laws of the world. <clears throat> and now, excuse me, and how things were going to be from now on. I then wandered back out into the hallway and saw another room. There they had people lined up waiting on a nurse. They were getting physicals and then they were seated to get an injection in their hand. After I saw all of this, I was shown a glimpse of Christ in a, on a white horse, surrounded by thousands of warriors on horseback. Hmm. They were on a cliff looking out. In the distance, I could see earth. I heard Christ tell me, I am the door. That was the end of the dream. I prayed on this crazy dream for days, asking God for confirmation. A few days I was driving and listening to a radio. As I was driving, I, um, I was talking to God in my mind, begging him to show me more or to confirm that I am not crazy. At that moment, I heard a scripture on a commercial John 10, 9. I am the door. <laughs> mm, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that ye might have life and that ye might have it more abundantly. Mm. Yeah, what do you guys think about that? Pat's two cents. Well, you know, I got to do that. What can I say? That's what I do. Well, I want to ask you, think about that. What do you think about the new world order, about uh, things happening demonic entities that materialize as de as demonic aliens but that really makes sense 
because when you look at the people lining up, check it out. In the, what do you call it? Those camps, those FEMA camps. I was looking at pictures of the FEMA camps about a year ago. And I was really tripping off of the fact that some of those things look like concentration camps. So, I really don't know what the purpose of them is. I really don't know if I care to know. But I tell you what. Y'all better pray just like I know I better keep on praying. Because we need to know how to be prepared. Spiritually, mainly spiritually when we're prepared spiritually we can hear we will have an ear to hear when God says bust a move now in the meantime pray that God will prepare you in advance should you get a oh what do you call those things when you travel come on you guys help me <laughs> Passport. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Should you get a passport? Should you look at properties in other countries? I mean, I actually considered Uruguay uh, in South America. Some people are thinking of of uh, of um, Panama, Costa Rica. All kind of places. So think about where God can send you if there is a need to do so. But he needs to send you where the country is not tied up in the world system. I do believe there will be some countries that will not line up with that nonsense. So ask God. And then God may want you to stay put and deal with the discomforts of the immediate realities so that you can minister God's grace, God's strength, God's guidance in this darkness. You can minister light in everyone's darkness. You hear what I mean? So don't be so quick to jump. You have to know that you've heard from God. Because if you don't, when you do move, you could be making matters worse for yourself. God will shield his people. God knows who he wants to use and how he wants to use us. So we have to position ourselves for God's purpose, not yours, not mine. Remember that. If you have children, position yourself for God's purpose. He will look after your kids. You have to trust him through this. Last days, y'all. Prayer time. Get our acts together. Draw close to God in through here. Get into God's word. I'm telling you, you find a lot more answers than you believe. I am telling you. God's word answered me. When I asked if I heard right that God wanted me and my husband to move. Mm -hmm. and God led me to so much scripture that was of course talking to other people but the answer was the answer I needed do you hear what I'm saying so you have to be open you have to be flexible you have to be willing to yield in maybe a whole different way than it ever dawned on you would ever occur in your life. But as long as you stay obedient to God's directions, you will be fine. And other people will be blessed because of you. God bless you. Keep the faith.